What's up, y'all? In this video, we are going to check out the Loctec KW1 Decode Reset Tool, which is a LT-D-R, made by Loctec. They are the ones that make the camera for smart keys. They recently came out with this guy. It is called the Cube, and you can reset keys to smart key locks that you've lost the key to, and unlike anything else that is out there right now you can decode the key just by using one of these little tools that is included with it after experimenting with it on saturday morning live which is a live thing that we do every single saturday we are in season seven and episode 43 every saturday 11 to 1 join in with a bunch of other locksmiths we checked that out today on uh, season uh, episode 43 just to learn it so that uh, I would know kind of what to do here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, this thing's a little pricey compared to the better resetter that I've done a video on. I'll put the link up here. Or for that matter, the cradle, which after you get a better resetter, setter, you will never use another cradle. Better resetter is available from betterresetter.com or my preference would be the uh, Foley Bell Saw locksmithing website if you're a locksmith. But this guy is available from a number of uh, locksmith distributors. I don't know if they sell direct or not, but let's check it out. It is pretty interesting little guy. Kind of fumbled around a little bit with it during that live episode, but I know how it works now. So let's, uh, let's let you see how it works in case you decide you want one. All right, it comes with the directions. From Locktech on how to decode it, uh, removal storage. But we're just gonna show you how to do it. So I've got some keys. We're gonna use the same ones that I used on uh, Saturday Morning Live to check it out. One of them fits that one right there. And we had, uh, this key is 36534. This one we do not have yet. So we're gonna actually do the same thing here and uh, show you how to do it. Now that I know what we can do is we can just decode this. You don't have to do anything to uh, decode it besides pull your tools out right here. Now there's a couple of little pieces. So you want to, want to be careful with that. That pops out. There's your, there's your poker to uh, reset it. And then in here, somewhere, oh, there it is, is the decoder tool. And you can see it has little dots around it. Uh, so to decode this, you would simply insert that. And now with any smart key, re-key, reset, whatever, I always say lubricate. I've done a video again on that as well. It's a good idea to, uh, to lubricate the lock and then take a key and then, you know, run it in and out. What that does is gets out any, you know, gooey things or, or anything that may cause a problem with you trying to read this. I'm going to wipe it off real quick. Now, this apparently works with all generations of smart keys, so that's not going to be an issue. So, what we're going to try to do is just decode this first. So, we're going to put it in here. Now, if you have been a locksmith for a while, and I made this comparison on Saturday morning live, this is very similar to this guy, which is the old GM decoder. And you would put this down in a GM six cut cylinder and push it down and it would tell you what the uh, what the cut was by, by the numbers that are on this thing here. Very, very similar to it. In fact, you know, practically identical, I would have to say. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here. This is the sight window for the sidebar. So if it's incorrectly, you should see the sidebar. So if you put it in from this side, you can't see the sidebar. So that obviously would not work. Make sure you put it in from the right side, just like that. Uh, now you wanna go ahead and just kind of wiggle it a little bit and you wanna see how that sidebar is moving. That has to go down for this to turn if you're not familiar with smart key cylinders. This is not a video on that. All right, so basically what we do here is we just take this little tool, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the dots, drop it down in there. And this was one of the things we discovered on uh, this uh, Saturday Morning Live was you don't count the half cuts, you only count the full depths there. 
So in this case, it would be a one, if I could find a pen here to write with, because half of that is covered up. So we're gonna say one, and then simply just go to your next one. Very, very easy to decode. So that is a one, two, three and a half, but it's only three fully ones exposed. So that's one, three. Okay, all six are open there. So that's a six depth, one, three, six. All right, we got, uh, looks like three exposed there. And just one. So we're gonna end with one. So the one, three, six, three, one is our supposed uh, combination there. I'm gonna go cut that key real quick. All right, I've got a quick set gauge here just to show you. This is indeed one, oh, go the way. One, three, six, three, one. So, uh, Got one, three, six, three, one, and we'll give it a go. Perfect. So this would be absolutely perfect. And, and at that point, you can actually just take your little other tool here. If you needed to change it to the new key, push that in until you hear it click or until it goes all the way in. Pull that key out, grab you your new key, and insert it, and there you go. Now, uh, as I mentioned in that live, it would be pretty easy, uh, a pretty good thing to have in certain situations. Let's say we don't have the key for it, so now we have to reset it. This one is a little bit uh, more finicky as far as having to do it, so you do the same thing here, same, same exact way put that in now we're going to take this guy onto the reset side and you have to go from the bottom of the cylinder just like you would with a, a better resetter it's just a longer version but it almost looks like a cross between a best pin inject ejector and a better resetter so there we go we had it if it doesn't fall all the way down you may have to kind of wiggle this around in the instructions it says you should feel like a springy area so once that is seated all the way down, you would simply take something, push this the rest of the way in, and then rotate it. Now I did make the comment that this was kind of hard to do, uh, uh, just cause I have not. So you gotta pull that out at the same time as you're turning it, otherwise they're gonna be stuck in there. So there we go, you turn it to your 90 degree position. Then again, use your tool to just poke it. So, okay, it's not quite at the right spot, so you may have to wiggle it back and forth a little bit somewhere. There it goes. Click. That was a good click on that one. And then we're going to take that and reset it. So that is the better, or not the better resetter, I'm sorry, the Cube KW1 Decode Reset LT-DR. This is not a sponsored video. Thank you again, Anthony, for sending it to me. I just wanted to let you all know it is another tool in your toolbox. Now, I did make a couple of comments about some red flags with that. As a retail locksmith, we will have every so often, somebody will come in and say, hey, I need the key that fits this doorknob. I don't need you to rekey it. I need the key that fits it because I have other locks. That can be a little bit sketchy with no proof. We have no way to prove that this guy didn't find an open door somewhere, take the doorknob off, bring it in, and now he has a key to the whole facility. In the locksmith world, if you're on site, and let's say you have a house full of smart keys and the customer's like, I need to rekey all these doors, but I lost my key. One of those doors, say a storage room, is locked. You can decode one of the existing smart key locks very easily with this tool and open that door instead of having to do things like drill or use your camera to get it apart to make a key for it. You can just take one of the existing locks off as long as the person's sure that it actually did fit it. Another use case situation would be, and I don't think they make them anymore, but Quickset for a while made a lever handle and they put metal shroud around it. So if you have a customer that has one of those and they say, well, I lost my keys, fits my back door and this electronic lock, you can decode the back door lock. And instead of having to cut that metal shroud off to access the cylinder to rekey it, 
you just make a key for it. That's two perfect examples of a situation where a locksmith would need to decode it. There are people out there that will say, hey, you can just do that with a key blank. Take the cylinder apart, put it in there, you just look at it, you can figure it out with key blank. Yeah, that's a little bit harder to do. This makes it super simple. Again, not a sponsored video. Thanks again, Anthony, for sending this to me. It certainly is a lot more expensive of a tool than the other versions out there. But as I mentioned in the Better Resetter video, don't even bother. Now that this is out, if you, don't even bother with the cradle anymore. Your A, if you buy one of these other tools, either the Better Resetter or this thing, you're not giving Quickset Corporation your money for a junky product. I've had several cradles over the years. They break, no big deal. But the problem is, is they usually jam and they break with the cylinder stuck in them. You can disassemble the, the thing to get it apart. But all that is, is ridiculous. None of this stuff you have to disassemble using either the better resetter or this cube. You don't have to, you don't have to take apart anything. And, and if the, the cylinder really wouldn't get stuck in there, like it certainly will with the Crail. I can speak from experience on that. Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, it's brand new to me, so I can't answer much on it. But uh, thanks for watching, and if you're interested, go buy it, buy it from somewhere. I don't, I don't know where to buy it. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. If y'all have any questions or comments, uh, somebody will help you up here. I'm sure somebody is familiar with it. Catch you next video. All right, now go ahead and show you that it, it, it all stores. In case you didn't figure that out for me taking it apart, but it all kind of stores together. And this is putting it back in, so you'll have all the pieces next time. I put that there. Let's see, where does this go through? Kind of like that. Oh. Kind of like that. I didn't want to leave that part out.